So I just want to go over a few things on the slides, uh, but first we'll just go through the included contents. So we've got a manual, uh, one spare o-ring and a lanyard, and uh, the clip did come in that bag. Uh, you've got a uh, holster here, quite good quality, hole at the bottom, and this ring, and this velcro strap. So it was, uh, it was meant to come with a battery magazine for a CR123, the CR123 batteries, but it wasn't there. Uh, and the box was sealed uh, from Nightcore, so uh, they must have just forgotten to put that in. Uh, but I don't use them, so uh, it's not an issue for me. Uh, it does come with a 5000 milliamp hour protected lithium ion battery and uh, this is a proprietary battery here so you've got the positive and negative terminals on both ends and uh, you know the the flashlight will not work with any other battery but uh, this series of batteries here so that's uh, one negative thing about it that i personally don't like let's go through the light a bit um, got a nice attack bezel here and then you've got these three points on it for uh, breaking glass or perhaps someone's skull. Uh, <laughs> uh, you've got a smooth reflector and um, Nightcore don't actually specify the LED, but it looks like a Cree XHP 35.2 high intensity um, in, cool, in cool white. And uh, you know the beam on it is perfect like there's no artifacts whatsoever and it's just so good to see uh, so just to continue we've got the USB uh, USB C charging port on the side with a battery status indicator here uh, smooth anodizing uh, which can be a bit slippery but thankfully there is a good amount of knurling here that provides you know good sufficient grip this uh, this clip is pretty cool uh, you can't remove it without taking off the tail cap and the, you've got these uh, slots you just take this tail cap off so you've got, uh, got these slots around it that it drops into so you can't move the clip side to side it's fixed in place and we'll just uh, put this battery in while we've got the tail cap off so you can see the uh, the either yeah, tail cap uh, slots over the clip there so really good you can't uh, pull it off you're not going to lose the light and uh, you've got uh, the selector ring 
for the modes and this works really well great uh, you got your lanyard attachment points both sides power switch and mode switch uh, so we'll just uh, just like the the one negative that I had about this light other than the proprietary battery is for some reason uh, this light from a cold start only activates 1700 lumens um, and then after like two to three seconds you turn it off and then when you turn it back on it comes on at full power so I don't know whether it's a, de a defect in mine um, or whether all of them are like that so I'm really looking forward to seeing um, the one lumen review uh, they are very very thorough when they make their reviews and uh, uh, be good to see whether whether theirs is like theirs is the same uh, but you know other than that it's it's like the perfect light there's it's uh, got such a great UI well made um, perfect beam on it good output you know good range you know it just uh, all the things that I have always wanted to have on a light uh, when I'm reviewing it you know just nothing that I've got to you know cover on a lengthy video of all the things wrong uh, yeah so moving on to the UI so you've got uh, dual tail switches and so you've got that's the power switch there and then you've got the mode switch um, as well so uh, you've got also the lockout through rotating the ring and say if you've got it on uh, you've got it on uh, level one one two or three so a half press will uh, turn it on your chosen level uh, for momentary and then a full press in will lock in that level and then you can rotate the the ring to, to change through your levels uh, once it's on you've got a half press of the uh, of the mode switch gets you turbo momentary turbo released goes back to the level uh, full press down gets you your strobe and then it locks it in and then another press uh, returns you back to your level if you uh, have that uh, turned off then the full press of the mode switch will be just a momentary strobe uh, if we turn it now to the tactical mode uh, both switches will just activate in momentary so you can't lock it in uh, so a half press gets you uh, just the low level full press of the power switch gets you the turbo uh, the half press of the mode switch again gets you turbo and a full press gets you the strobe so extremely simple to use uh, I really really like that about it one-handed operation all levels exactly what a tactical light should be uh, and um, you know I really hope you guys like this and I really do uh, I really hope that Nightcore takes me on board and uh, sends me more of their lights to review because I'd love to use my drone to get those aerial photos and uh, really captures the beam the beam profile and uh, just uh, something different uh, to be able to do and also mounting it on the drone for uh, uh, for those that are into search and rescue of their drones just uh, something completely different uh, that I, I that I enjoy doing so hope you guys like this uh, review and uh, thanks for watching